and welcome back to the Suburban Chateau. Today we're going to begin a new series I'm so excited to share with you. Now last year I was able to jump on the Vlogmas bandwagon and it was very very exciting and also very stressful. So this year I have a different plan of attack on our holiday vlogs and we're going to be exploring what it means to have an old Fashion Christmas and to kind of focus on some of those old fashioned treasured traditions that are so much fun at this time of year. So instead of 24, 25 vlogs, we're going to have 12 days of an old fashioned Christmas here at the Suburban Chateau. And I'm already excited about sharing really 12 wonderful experiences with you as well. So today we're going to embark on that journey the 12 days of an old fashioned Christmas. So on our first day of our old fashioned Christmas, we're going to get some inspiration by traveling to one of our favorite antique stores, and that's the Big Valley Antique Store in Milroy, Pennsylvania. And I'm so excited to share our trip there, Sarah, my oldest daughter, and I traveled to Milroy a few weeks ago just to get some ideas. We didn't buy anything, but we really saw a lot of things that we loved and we got a lot of inspiration and it helped us kind of get in the mood to get the decorating going and getting everything ready for this time of year. Well, we're on our way to Milroy, PA, and of course, we're going to the Big Valley Antiques, one of our favorite places to go. But today's kind of exciting because we're starting off our old fashioned Christmas countdown and very excited to do so at an antique store and one of our favorites. So today I'll be looking for some old fashioned Christmas ornaments, anything that will fit into our old fashioned theme. It's gonna be a great time. When we think of an old fashioned Christmas, we certainly think of family and spending time with family. And on this trip, I got to spend time with my oldest daughter, Sarah. We love to go antiquing together. She's always on the hunt for typewriters and I'm on the hunt for all things vintage. Every year on our way to Big Valley, we pass this cool ranch that's for sale and it's attached to a Harley Davidson dealer on the way up. And uh, I looked it up, it's only $8 million, but you can always dream. <laughs> It's a big valley antiques. We're really excited to see everything inside. Um, it's it's kind of not that exciting from the outside, but I'll tell you what, they're gonna be full of gems. And we're excited to be here and start our old fashioned Christmas countdown right here in Milroy, PA. Now at Big Valley, many of the booths have some Christmas items, but this booth in particular was completely decked out with all the Santas, all the vintage ornaments, almost anything you could think of, the Christmas plates, just everything that makes you think of vintage Christmas. So I, we took a little extra time looking at this booth and getting some ideas. I especially love these nesting dolls, gorgeous. And one thing that struck me, they had a beautiful jewelry Christmas tree. And I don't know how to do that, but I have so much jewelry that match earrings that don't match. Something I might wanna try as a craft. So we got a lot of great ideas from that. Now, 
Now there were two items that I saw on this trip that I almost splurged on. One was a set of Courier and Ives prints. I'm always looking for small prints to decorate some of my feature walls. I really wanted the winter print and I didn't want to break up the set. There was four, the four seasons. So I decided not to go for that. The other thing I almost splurged on was a tall painted coffee pot and it was just so gorgeous. And if you've watched my videos in the past, you know I love the tallware trays, but this was a coffee pot and it just was very- I really like that. That's evocative of the type of artwork that I love. But I did pass on it, but you never know. I know I looked at it the last time, so maybe third time's a charm for the coffee pot. But we sure saw a lot of really nice things. Thank you so much for joining us on our very first day of our old fashioned Christmas celebration. And I hope you'll come back and check out some of the other things we have planned for the holiday season.